Hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome on into North Dakota today. Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Sophia Richards. Happy first day of spring. Happy first day of spring, Ashlyn. Spring is springing. I was it really say is. Spring is sprung, but it's not. <laughs> Actually, you guys, we have first alert weather days coming yeah. up this week, yeah. Thursday, and then this weekend. We're going to get hit with snow, wind, the whole wintry mix. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, and to think it was 70 uh, degrees last week. I know. It just, I'm in denial. Yeah, I really have no words. I know. It's, it's like all over the place, yeah. truly. I knew they would throw us through a loop. Mother Nature. Yeah. Yeah, we knew, we had to know this yeah. was happening. We, I was prepared, but I was in denial. I'm still in denial. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. yeah. Well, good to get prepared. We got a lot coming up. But in the meantime, we're celebrating the first day of spring. Last week, as we know, our clocks sprang forward for daylight savings. And today, Mother Nature is springing forward with the change of the season. So this is the first day of astronomical spring. And it falls on a different date every year because it occurs on the vernal equinox. I feel so official talking about this. Yeah. And that means that the amount of daylight is roughly 12 hours long. So fun fact, this is the earliest in March that the equinox has fallen since 1896. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. So we're thinking spring at least. We're thinking spring. Spring mm -hmm. is in the air, but it is also in our drinks. Okay. Well, who voted that lavender was the theme? I didn't know that like one yeah. coffee shop proclaims that there is a themed flavor and everyone follows suit. I didn't realize this was happening. I don't know, but I wish they hadn't because lavender is not my favorite, honestly, in I drinks. I just never think about it. Lavender yeah. tea, maybe yep. lavender coffee. I don't know. I've never even tried it. I like the smell of it. I love like lavender lotions, yeah. but lavender flavored things yeah. isn't really my jam. Yeah, so we but. had caribou on before. Yes. And they had a fun little kit and I still have that lavender lotion at my desk. I yeah. put some on today. Yeah, I the use it. hand yep. cream. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to you. Thank you for that. You yeah. always use a good hand cream. But... Now Starbucks is following suit and they have an entire new spring menu. We're going to run through the list because it is a lot. Yes. A lavender cream frappuccino, iced lavender cream oat milk matcha, iced lavender oat milk latte, and then they move on to some of the strawberry acai refreshers. Yes. Acai? Acai? Yeah. I, I made it up. It, yeah. Acai, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yep, strawberry assay lemonade refreshers, yep. pineapple passion fruit lemonade, mango dragon fruit lemonade, Yum. and then a new hazelnut oat milk shaken espresso. Okay, that's way more up my alley. I yep. love hazelnut, and one time Summer Schnellbach was here, and I was like, hey, if your creamer's, okay, does everybody else's <laughs> workplace have like a strict write your name on your creamer rule? Yeah. I think that's just like a, we're all universally struggling with creamers in the workplace, right? Mm -hmm. So I told Summer that my hack was that I never put my name on my creamer at work. I just, just try to like hide it in my drawer. Oh. And I, and she said, what's the flavor? And I said, hazelnut. And she said, nobody likes hazelnut. That's why nobody's stealing your creamer. Oh. I didn't know. <laughs> I like hazelnut stuff. I love it. So, yeah, but it kind of makes sense. They're, everyone wants I the guess, more fun yeah. stuff. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. So everyone at work listening right now, don't touch my hazelnut creamer. Yeah. But it was kind of funny to me. I was like, yeah, just don't mark it. Just hide it. She was like, girl, nobody likes hazelnut. So. It was like a revelation. <laughs> yeah. So I am in the minority, but I'm super excited for this. I really want to try this at Starbucks. This mm -hmm. oat milk sh shaken hazelnut espresso. Yep. That's all the things I would love, I think. Well, we got a review on the matcha lavender one yeah. from Alex Larson this morning. She yeah, said it she was good. Mm -hmm. I just like the plain matcha. I think it's enough in itself. Yeah. I don't know. I forget how to order it. I have to look it up. There's all these fancy secret ways yeah. to order and customize drinks and I just like black out when I get to the window. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I exactly know I what you no mean. I have no idea yes. what I'm ordering. Yep. And then I end up with something super basic. So you gotta like rehearse your order sometimes. Yeah, well, I just <laughs> go off the photo because I'm like, oh, you yeah. know, the Starbucks menu makers mm -hmm. know more about coffee than me because yeah. I don't really drink coffee. So right. I'm like, can I get a iced caramel macchiato? Can yeah. I get an iced She's like, can I get latte? creamer with a side of coffee? Yep, seriously. Well, yes. they also have some new food. A bean custard dish. Vanilla bean, thank you. I was like, what is happening here? Vanilla <laughs> bean. Vanilla bean custard dish and a chicken maple <laughs> butter and egg sandwich for breakfast. So, yeah, I'd try it out. Yeah. Okay, well, it's spring. It's prom season. We're thinking prom. We're getting ready to f for the glitz and the glam. But mm -hmm. more importantly, have you all heard of prom-posals? 
By now, you probably have. Yes. It's a very normalized thing. Back in my day, it wasn't. But mm -hmm. for the youth, as we know, the very youth. popular. Yep. This is a really cute story, though. Our producer found this. In the middle of helping with storm cleanup in his hometown in Kentucky, a high school student still managed to ask his date to prom in a really big way. Let's check out the story from Trimble County. Here in Milton, Kentucky, the fields aren't only for planting soybeans. For one Trimble County High School student, they're also for asking the one big question. Move over flowers and poster board signs. Brett Leiter is taking promposals to new links in a way that's much more his style. Yeah, I just went out there and I done what I done best. I'm probably better uh, plowing a field than I am writing on a poster with a marker. That couldn't be more true for the 17 year old farmer who is also ranked the number one tractor driver in the state of Kentucky. But that doesn't make asking a girl out on a date, much less to your first prom, any less intimidating. My anxiety was through the roof on when I was doing it, if she's going to look good or she was even going to say yes. But that didn't stop lighter. He cranked up his grandpa's Alice Chalmers tractor, hooked up the till, and drove just over the hill to his grandpa's field, ready to make quick work of his big idea. Right there on the hood, it says land handler, and I can tell you what, it does handle some land. It'll get, it'll, it'll roll on, I tell you. It took him about 40 minutes to spell out the letters P-R-O-M. Luckily for Lighter, it took his date, Madeline Smith, a little less time to say yes. I did not expect all that. I was expecting maybe a little poster, but when I seen that, I was like, I almost cried. If she would have said no, I would have been out there plowing till midnight to get it covered up. The promposal that can only be seen from a bird's eye view has captured the attention of thousands online, garnering more than 10,000 shares on TikTok in a matter of hours and hundreds more on social media in his hometown. It was super sweet, genuine, so I felt like everyone should see it and, you know, get a little happiness out of it. And best of all, the video has helped to bring a little positivity to residents in Milton still reeling from the tornado that ripped through the city just a few days before. I just thought that it would really help the people that are suffering from this, like help uplift their mood right now and maybe put a grin on their face. Okay, how cute. I love that. So precious. Mm -hmm. I feel like that could have been here. It could have been. That could have been you telling a story. Just slightly different accent, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, obviously. But yes, I love that. How wholesome. And then, you know, just back to the wild weather. It's not just us yeah. all over the place. Mm -hmm. The U.S. as a whole, regionally, it's like, wow, there's just a lot going on this spring, winter time. But how cute. I know. I love that one. I got a couple signs in high school, but never a plowed field. Well, <laughs> hello. Yeah. This is the PSA. Should have been on that. <laughs> I never had any, so you know yeah. that was that was after my time. Which is so funny to me. I feel like you know it's just what you do, right? But it's kind of a newer trend. Not always. Yeah. I, be, I don't even have a photo alone as prom queen of my senior year of high school. Which is so nuts. It is crazy when I really think about it because we'll be talking about things constantly, and you'll be like, "Oh yeah, here's a pic of this when I did this," and I'll yep. be like, "Oh." You have, oh, that's yep. like, wait, that's a <laughs> physical thing that exists somewhere and not just in your memory? Yeah. You're not just like, oh yeah, one time this happened to me? Like, nope, it's there. I have photo evidence for everything. I'm yeah. always snapping a photo. No, as you should, especially now. So yes, if you're into photos, I applaud you. Get them printed though. That's kind of another thing that we got to mm -hmm. work on as a whole. It's not just digital. You got to get them printed too, so you can really save them and then keep looking at them. I do that and then I put them in a scrapbook. Right, yeah, you are mm -hmm. a big scrapbooker. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, <laughs> leading the youth. <laughs> okay, kind of funny. <laughs> okay, well, we have an incredible show for you on your Tuesday morning. Coming up, we are talking about the Moorhead Ice Show happening this weekend. Three chances to head on out and have some fun. We'll learn all about it after the break.